The primary flight display, or PFD, presents a dynamic color display of all the parameters necessary for flight path control. The PFDs provide the following information. Flight mode enunciation, airspeed, altitude, attitude, vertical speed, steering information, radio altitude, instrument landing system display, approach minimums, heading track indications, and time critical warnings. The attitude indication displays the airplane pitch and roll attitude reference to the horizon. Pitch attitude is displayed by an airplane symbol against a pitch scale. The pitch scale is in two and a half degree increments. Bank angle is represented by the attitude of the airplane symbol against the horizon line and pitch scale. Single marks indicate 0, 10, 20, 30, 45, and 60 degrees of bank. A small moving rectangle under the bank angle pointer indicates slip and skid conditions. The slip and skid indicator becomes filled white at full scale deflection. At bank angles of 35 degrees or more, the bank angle pointer and slip and skid indicator turn amber. Now if at the same time the slip and skid indicator is at full scale deflection, it will display filled amber. A pitch limit indication is displayed when the flaps are down. The flight director steering indications are displayed when the associated flight director switch is on. Flight mode enunciations are displayed in the top three windows on the PFD. Now armed modes appear in white subscript format. Active modes appear in green. These enunciators pertain from left to right to the auto throttles, roll modes, and pitch modes. Now you'll see many mode displays in the flight guidance modules. When a mode first becomes active, it'll be highlighted by a green box for 10 seconds. The ASA field displays the current status of the AFDS just above the attitude display. Current ATERIS airspeed is displayed on a tape and in a digital window on the left side of the PFD. The box around the digital window turns amber when airspeed is below minimum maneuvering speed. The current Mach number is digitally displayed below the airspeed tape when the current Mach number is greater than 0.4. The minimum speed that can be displayed is 30 knots. Target airspeed is displayed above the airspeed tape and also appears on the speed tape as a bug. When the target speed is off scale, the bug is parked at the top or bottom of the tape with only half of the bug visible. Now depending on the AFDS mode, this target value is derived either from the MCP speed or from the FMS. An airspeed trend vector indicates predicted airspeed in 10 seconds. The situation shown on this frame indicates that the aircraft is accelerating. This vector is a dynamic vector and changes length during acceleration and deceleration. At a constant airspeed, the vector is not displayed. The takeoff reference speeds are shown along the right edge of the airspeed tape. These values are the same as those on the takeoff ref page of the FMS. The maneuvering speed for flap retraction or extension is displayed for each flap setting. These flap speed indications are not displayed above approximately 20,000 feet. The approach and landing reference speed is shown along the right edge of the airspeed tape. The approach speed information is the same as that selected on the approach ref page of the FMS. Maximum and minimum airspeeds are also displayed along the right edge of the airspeed tape. Aterus altitude is displayed on the altitude tape along the right side of the PFD. It's also shown digitally in a window in the middle of the tape. Pressing the meter switch on the EFIS control panel will cause meters displays to cycle on or off. With meters selected on, the current altitude in meters is also shown above the altitude window and the selected altitude appears in meters above the altitude tape. The meters display in 10 meter increments. The MCP selected altitude is displayed above the altitude tape 
Selected altitude is also depicted with a bug on the altitude tape. When the selected altitude is off scale, the bug parks at the top or bottom of the scale with only half of the bug displayed. A landing altitude reference bar is displayed along the inner edge of the altitude indication. The reference bar indicates the height above the touchdown zone for the selected runway. A white bar is displayed from 1,000 to 500 feet above landing altitude. An amber bar is displayed from 500 feet to the landing altitude. The barometric reference selector, or outer knob, is used to select the barometric reference to either inches of mercury or hectopascals. The reference type displays to the right of the displayed barometric setting on the PFD. The barometric selector, or middle knob, is rotated to slew the PFD barometric reference value. The current barometric reference is displayed below the altitude tape. The barometric standard switch or inner button is pressed to cycle between a selection of standard barometric pressure or a preset value. If no preselected barometric setting is displayed, the last setting value before standard was last selected will display again. Below the transition altitude, the barometric setting is used and standard is selected when climbing through the transition altitude. If standard is not selected above the transition altitude, the barometric setting is boxed and changes to amber. Pressing the standard switch will cycle from the barometric setting to standard mode. Similarly, if descending below the transition flight level with standard selected, the display is boxed and changes to amber. A pre-selected barometric reference can be displayed when standard is operating. This pre-selected value appears in white font below the standard display. Pressing the standard switch will cycle from standard mode to barometric setting mode. Vertical speed is displayed to the right of the altitude tape with a pointer and digital readout. Vertical speed is digitally displayed above or below the vertical speed display when vertical speed is greater than 400 feet per minute. It is displayed above with positive vertical speed and below with negative vertical speed. The selected vertical speed bug shows the selected vertical speed when in the AFDS vertical speed pitch mode. TCAS resolution advisories are displayed in the attitude indication area. Flight path vector FPV symbols are available. The FPV shows the current flight path vector 